so um, I'm talking a little bit quiet because we're sitting in a, a clinic actually. So I'm here to get the 24 hours um, halter to monitor my heart beat, right? <laughs> Um, because yeah, my because my pulse has been extremely high and it's kind of worrying, so they want to just check that out. So we're just sitting here in the waiting room. But, but yeah, I I've never done this before. This is a new thing for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've done, gone through many procedures, but like this yeah, is yeah. <laughs> something new. Yeah, he my has mom's you, here. Your, high, <laughs> your grandfather has been through such a process. It, it's not uncomfortable or painful, luckily, and like the blood pressure 24 hour one, which squeezes your arm literally every one hour. Right. That is painful. That's awful. But That's this true. is just sort of like, you don't even notice it's doing its job. And so they would be able to monitor and it shows that there is some problem somewhere, but... Um, uh, some but, kind of distress, But like... definitely very high blood pressure because Ramya has stopped using her blood pressure medicine for a long time. But like my blood pressure has been normal, but exactly. the pulse has been really high, like uh, mm -hmm. 120, 130 so like in time. resting, yeah. which is It really actually weird. means that she's running a marathon 24-7, even when she's resting. That's mm -hmm. what it means. Yeah. Also, so I don't so know if you can tell, but my face is very round and this is very, very, very full of fluid. And I, <sighs> I, I put on even another kilo today. A fluid, which I think it was my fault because I drank too much water yesterday. We're planning to sit and eat outside instead of stressing going home. <laughs> yeah, stressing out about making food. So, yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with you a little bit later. <laughs> okay, so now we're actually sitting in a, a nice Italian mm. restaurant. Lovely and books. It just looks really nice atmosphere. Yeah, very, very nice atmosphere. What was it? I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. Uh, I now have my ECG? my ECG monitor thing on. It's under my shirt, obviously. Um, but it's a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, stickers. Um, so we're about five uh, stickers. <laughs> and um, it's just like a little. Uh, a little white device that's pretty light actually it's not yeah. heavy at all it's like yeah. pretty the one that your practical grandfather had, that was really heavy yeah exactly so i'm happy about that so it's just, just put it in a pocket or whatever so yeah uh, it's on now and it will be off tomorrow um it's to be on for 24 hours and i just have to do things normally um nothing special <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyways, we ordered um, a vegetarian pizza and a vegetarian pasta. And uh, I hope it tastes good because the description of them were really, really nice. So I'm kind of excited to see how they taste. <sighs> Something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, actually there were a lot of restaurants on the way here. And we kept stopping to check if they had any vegetarian food. And unfortunately, none of them had, actually. So it was very really disappointing, but we finally found this place. So, that's good enough for us. I also have my my um, medicine um, bag here, and I've brought my, um, <clears throat> my lunch or midday medicines in this little box here and I'm just having some fizzy um, water. This whole thing is 300 milliliters. Yeah. So if I just calculate this in, I then I will strong. know at home how much how much I should not have <laughs> <laughs> when I get home. Also, um, I just checked my blood sugar and my glucose and it's 8.8 uh, .8, which is actually really good. I didn't take any insulin for breakfast today because mm -hmm. uh, I ate something that was very little carbohydrates. I just had like some yeah, some too. grated uh, carrots fried with some like spices and uh, lentils kind of. Yeah, yeah, the seeds, like seeds. Seeds. And then I had an omelette which 
I don't. I, I didn't like um egg in any type of form for a really, 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 really long time. So I've taken a really long break. So it was kind of a reintroducing it to myself again. I think it was okay, actually. <laughs> it was. Uh, I think there were good quality eggs too. They don't smell that much, <laughs> which I seem to have a problem with the smell more than anything else. But anyway, I had that, so I didn't need to take any insulin. And now my sugar is 8.8 .8 minimals, which is really good, actually. So I'm gonna take my insulin, short-acting insulin, for this pasta, which obviously is a lot of carbohydrates. So you think yours is good? Look at mine. Look at mine. <clears throat> okay, how much is yours? 6.7. 6.7? And I didn't take any insulin either. Mm. So egg. Yeah. The egg. It's actually pretty good for the sugar. Yeah. Finally got our food. It took a while. Mm, I'm right? hungry, okay. <laughs> Sorry, you have a video. That's a vegetarian pizza. Mm, and this it is, is good, my actually. vegetarian pasta. And it has like, what, broccoli and a tomato sauce. And yeah, it seems nice. Mm. And he gets some bread on the side. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it. Okay. Um, we're gonna eat now. <laughs> okay, so we ate our food. It was super yummy, actually. And I did add less salt in my pasta, which was perfect. Was yes, really then good. I, uh, you know, didn't worry about having too much salt. And your pizza was a little spicy, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I started coughing. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really nice. Was really I had nice. a piece. Actually, it was a really good piece. And the, the fresh bread on the side was so nice with the butter. And now we decided we'll have a dessert. We're gonna have um, apple cake. Mm -hmm. apple with cake. ice cream on the side. And with, <laughs> yeah, I will just have a little bit of the apple cake. I have to be a little careful with fruits and stuff like that. <laughs> After this, I guess we'll just get a taxi and get home yeah I think so okay, we've got that really beautiful thing <laughs> okay I'm gonna taste this hey you guys so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because my mom is actually sleeping and I'm just in the bathroom and I thought, you know, I have a mirror here. <sighs> but you guys, like, I crashed when <laughs> we came home. Like, I literally just came home, fell asleep, and didn't wake up until it was time to eat dinner. <laughs> I was so exhausted. Um, so excuse me if I look a little bit messy right now um but anyways i think the last time i was vlogging we were having our desert and it was so yummy a uh, really nice apple cake <laughs> and the taxi drive home was awful like the taxi drive was really sweet but the actual driving <laughs> oh my gosh and i get um car sick really easy so i was like can't do this so i did literally crash when i came home but anyways i thought i would kind of uh show you a little bit about how the the electrodes look obviously i can't show you all of them but i'm just gonna show you um let's see how i can do this like, this is how it looks can you see there you can see that's i have five of those there is another one so i have five of those like spread around um, around my chest and now what's gonna happen is i'm gonna be sorry i'm shaking so much <laughs> i don't have that much energy um so I'm gonna have this on and basically just live like normal, do stuff like I normally would, move like I normally would um, for 24 hours. So I put it on at like 11.30 yeah, today. So about 11.30 tomorrow, they will remove it and look at the data. 
so we'll see uh, i'm gonna go to bed because i'm super tired probably have some ice cubes and stuff because like i'm so dry in my mouth and i actually didn't drink that much water today which is probably a good thing because i was way, way way more today anyways um i need something i need some something wet in my mouth so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna take my insulin and then I have to wake up my mom because she has to help me with my dialysis and then I'm gonna probably listen to some music or watch some videos and then fall asleep and then I'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow morning and let you guys know how my night went I was just thinking maybe I would show you like the little device that um okay you can see Wow, I'm so good at balancing my phone. Okay, so this is like the little device that I just put in my pocket here. Just in my pocket here. Um, also, I just like tucked it into my bra, which also worked out pretty fine. Um, but yeah, it's actually super light and easy. I was expecting it to be very heavy, though the tapes and stuff do itch because I'm just sensitive like that um but yeah I mean it's just 24 hours I can definitely tolerate that much like I've been through way worse <laughs> so anyways I'm gonna stop talking now because I have a tendency to just talk and talk and talk and talk when I'm really tired um, <sighs> and I need to sit down I can't stand anymore so I'm gonna let you go for tonight and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>
yeah so we've just removed the the monitor the halter so now we're just waiting for the doctor so she sent in the med the, the data to him and now he's probably just checking it before coloring the skin so yeah Always talk low when we're at the hospital. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what they, he's gonna talk about or say. I'm actually a little bit interested to see what the, they will, what he sees in much, the so. data, or if it's just mm. nothing to the ground, really. What would you be worried about? Yeah, but I mean, it. it's like, even if it's maybe not something wrong with my heart, it's just a sign of something going on, right? Yeah. And just the fact that it is beating so fast all the time makes a person tired, makes a person weak. So we did, a, it's like I'm running a marathon constantly, and I'm, I'm barely moving. <laughs> so doesn't make any sense. Hey guys, so um, the doctor's uh, appointment was actually really, really nice. I was so happy about it. And now just, I just had some lunch and I'm taking my medicines. There it is. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, and my mom. And my mom. You brought salt. I got the sand. sand. All right. Uh, I'll explain why we're buying the sand later. Because <laughs> there's a reason for it. Trust me. Did you take your uh, No, I'm taking them. I'm I'm taking them you now. Taking uh, okay. I'm trying that to be a little bit control. careful with uh, the water, but I'm so thirsty. Okay, I'm not gonna drink anymore now. <laughs> this, this, this footage tablet oh, is hey, guys. So I found not my favorite to <laughs> on a stand, so I can actually <sighs> use my hand uh, and my arms. I have to take some insulin. Yeah, you can take them. Uh So, um, obviously, I'm at home now. Uh, I did crash when I came home. I did sleep for a while, but I wasn't as exhausted as I was yesterday. Um, somehow, I don't know uh, why that was, but maybe I was more prepared today. I'm not really sure, but at least I was uh, able but to wake up. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a summary of these snacks, um, which um, if you know me personally, then you know that those are super important stuff for me. Um, but yeah, I feel a little bit refreshed after resting. So, like I said, I was so happy with the whole appointment. The doctor was amazing. And when he met me, it was so sweet because he actually, you know, he went through my journal and everything and he was like, wow, you have really been through a lot. And he was saying that he expected me to be sick and weak and like a broken girl, but I was dressed nicely, I looked good, I was smiling, and it was just so nice for me to have someone appreciate that that I, it takes effort, like it takes effort to think about how I'm presenting myself. Although, yeah, I am sick, I am weak, and things are a lot harder and challenging, um, but I still put in an effort to um, put on some makeup if I have the energy to do so. Faculties in order, wear a good dress that makes me feel comfortable and nice, um, and you know, just so all these things it was go first of all like, so nice of him to appreciate and respect take a that. lot more effort for um, someone like me to and do. he looked through my data and he did 
an eco doppler like an ultrasound of the heart and he said your heart looks perfectly fine it's healthy it's good so that was really good news i kind of expected that answer anyways and the nice thing also was that he said it makes sense that my heart is beating fast it makes sense that my pulse rises when i'm moving and doing stuff because my body is going through a lot of things and transitions and transitions and he said i have more than enough reasons to have a high pulse in itself so he was like i don't want to that i treat this have medication, medication learn because it might actually work around it more problems for and accept it so and i was really um, happy about that and it was that actually somebody really saying really that somebody just, this is the way it is i'm not going to do anything about it there's nothing you can do about it Telling me that is way more relieving and easier for me to handle and deal with rather than someone telling me that, oh my gosh, your pulse is so high, like it shouldn't be like this. I don't understand why you're feeling like this. Um, And that you can't do anything about that. That is invalidating way more. When somebody says, yes, your body is going through a lot of stuff. And you have been through a lot of stuff. You can probably tell. So it... Accepting for me. Like, easier for me to accept. So... But I, I'd rather make like that other video about that probably tell really interesting. And then the second thing, uh, uh, you saw my mom bought some sand. We were starting to find sand. And we actually, found I think I have to make a dedicated in that video um, about that. But it's uh, actually a part of there. So we were like, okay, let's just see if they have, you know, like the sand for cats and stuff. So we found it. So what we're basically going to do is just pour it into a big box. And I'm going to use it to like... play with it <laughs> kind of which is kind of yeah it's, it's actually so soothing and so therapeutic like when i did it and i'm gonna mm -hmm. use it to like like i used to do it every single day before use it as like kidney stuff happened it was actually one of like the most soothing things for me and also just using like a feather gently stroking my arm like it <laughs> it was actually really 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 helpful so that's that and um oh yeah and we also bought um a bottle a new bottle because i do have a really nice bottle with like blue and flowers and stuff but it's not see-through it's metal and sometimes it's a little bit hard for me to know how much water i have left since i'm so I have left since I'm so um, restrictive now with my water so I have to really be careful and try to like savor it throughout the whole day <laughs> so I got this nice blue bottle um, which also has a straw which I kind of like and it's just so nice it's written ounces on one of the sides and then it's written milliliters on the other side which we measure with milliliters so that's the side we're gonna use so it's so clearly written like 500 milliliters 250 milliliters so i Around really 6, know 15 6 30 how much i'm drinking i and, have just um, this one i'm <laughs> drinking too much or too little or whatever. whatever so um, i'm gonna save this i don't think there's any medicine like drinking too little um, right now but you know, basically just for my medicines and maybe just a couple of sips in between, but 
that's basically it. And I'm also just enjoying some wonderful ice cubes. Mm, they're really good. I'm having one ice cube that actually has lime and a little bit of salt because I used to drink uh, a glass of lime and salt water because it used to really help me after showering and you know after sweating a lot but since I can't have that much salt and that much water I'm instead just putting it into ice cubes and like just eating them as popsicles because then I have just a really small amount but it's enough to <sighs> refresh me a little bit I hope you found it interesting and that you enjoyed it. Fresh me a little bit. Um, okay, I think I, I actually talked a lot. Right? It's always an open. And of course, I'm always open for questions. And please, you know, like and subscribe and press the bell icon what you guys think about my intro <laughs> and really planning to because like um, i really worked often really hard on those things i know it's probably and really i really found that i actually enjoyed this like i'm pretty proud of myself, this is fun so. like, you know <laughs> um anyways let me know and um yeah i'm sending you all of my love and You'll see me in my next video.